could just be like that out here. Like, but if you ain't really nobody that either was stepping or been stepping or stepping right now, the respect is kind of at a low because niggas don't know what you're going to do when shit do happen. Mm -hmm. Or niggas don't know what you're going to do in the situation where you got to go over to jail. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? everybody You out. feel me? So <laughs> nobody knows nobody until they do some shit and then mm -hmm. after they do some shit and get caught for doing that shit mm -hmm. and what they do. If they stay solid or not. So the game is just, it's fucked so up there's right no str There's no trust. You don't really trust oh, anybody. Yeah. You got to oh, be looking yeah. left, right, making sure oh, you're yeah. good. yeah. For sure, sure. I mean... I felt like that since 2010, though. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna hold you. I've been feeling like that since 2010, only because I seen so many good people that I fuck with lose their life because they let their guard down. Maybe ten times worse than my father. Though. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And 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 <laughs> and hiddenly though, not even for him to know this shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like what's so crazy is I'm not even gonna lie, like. I was laying my head at my mother's house mm. probably about three years ago. And I had, I had, I was in the bed. I'm in the bed. Mm -hmm. I got my motherfucking, I got my gun in the bed, though. Wow. I ain't going to lie. And I thought I locked the door. I got the gun in the bed behind the pillow. But I guess by me adjusting the pillow through my sleep, it exposed it. So this laying on the junk. Mm -hmm. I had 19 with a dick on that motherfucker. He just walks in the room. Boy. I didn't know how bad that shit was going to hurt. And and I'm going to tell you something. I don't know if it's just me, but bruh, I was more sick thinking about all the shit that she was going to be doing with another nigga. Oh, my <laughs> God. Oh, my God, boy. And I hated that because I felt like a simp. Like, well, I fuck, I care. I can fuck this, this, that, this, that, that, that. And all you can hear is the, you know what I'm saying? I don't mean it. All you can hear is like they 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 moaning the and sound. shit like that. The sound. <laughs> yeah. That's all you hear. That's all you think about is they head and they, oh man. That's all you think about. You think about fucking thing. That's all you think about, bro. Okay. And then you think about another nigga, like a nigga, a young. <clears throat> Some dudes, they they even get physical with the shit. They start. Especially if they seen their fathers act like that with women. Hey, you see they hitting on their ass, doing all the time. <laughs> <laughs> fucking their ass up, and their ass in the ER. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Wow. Nigga, this shit. Nigga get carried now with the rejection and he want to fight. He want to shoot. Yeah. Like, damn. Like, oh, so it's really like everything's so sensitive now. You know what I'm saying? Everything's so sensitive. So it's like, but for that man that, that, that keep getting his heart broke, it's something that he doing wrong. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because you putting your heart into the wrong shit. Mm -hmm. Everybody don't, like I said earlier, Access to you should not just be granted to everybody. This shit ain't Google. Mm -hmm. This shit ain't Wi-Fi. Nah, I'm gonna fuck. You know what I'm saying? Everybody don't get the password. You yeah. know what I'm saying? <laughs> you gotta just like guard your heart and see. I be telling niggas like, yeah, she get you up there. You know what I'm saying? Some, yeah, you gonna get some pussy. You gonna fuck. You gonna do this and then a the third. But at the at the end of the day, your heart ain't dead. You don't really love that Jane. You know she don't love you. As soon as she ready to deal with another man, she gonna make up some shit with you and get you the fuck out of her house. So why not make yourself stable on your own, bruh? You niggas grown and shit, bruh. Stop mooching and feeding off these bitches real live. Get on your so shit. Is relationship all about sex? Uh, 98%. You know what I'm saying? 98% of the why, time. Why 98% Hello, welcome to another episode of the Ben Rollins Blueprint Podcast. I'm your host, Ben Rollins, one of them. Today's going to be a great episode. Thank you for tuning in for today's episode. Please, if you're new to our channel, just do us a favor. Like the video and subscribe to our channel so you can be the first person to be notified when we drop any future episode. And for our return listeners, we just appreciate you for everything you do. And Ben Rollins Blueprint is going to be nowhere without you so thank you keep doing what you do we really appreciate you today's episode is going to be a great one i'm joined by an artist a businessman he got his own brand 
And ladies and gentlemen, please join me. Welcome the one and only Rari Rick. Yeah, hey yeah, man, yeah, how you yeah, doing, yeah, brother? Yeah. What's up, man? What's up, man? I appreciate you having me, man. You know, I'm here full effect, man. You yeah. know, I appreciate you for coming to the show today, man. Yeah. It's an honor having you today. Yes, sir, man. It's an honor to be here, my man. You know, I, I appreciate what you're doing. I like what you're doing, getting everybody out here, some public exposure. Yeah. But also, you feel me, it's just a good vibe that you're bringing. You know what I'm saying? A lot of negative vibes be out here. Just, you know, that's what people feed, know, but you got some good energy that need to be pumped out here. I, yeah, I, man. I, I bang with that. So, I really appreciate you. So, how you doing today, my man? Man, I'm doing good, man. You know, I can't complain. You know what I'm saying? If you know, you know. You feel me? Yeah. That's a, that's a, a saying I live by. If you know, you know. If you really doing that shit, you know, you can't really complain because it's supposed to be what it is. Mm. You know what So, saying? now I want to take you back to memories. I like to do that, by the way. Oh, yeah. I want to take you back to down the line. Did you grow up in Maryland or D.C.? My yes, sir. Man, the whole DMV area. I ain't gonna say the V, but you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying. We lived in DC. We lived in Maryland. Majority of our life, you know, what I'm saying our family history and both both sides of the shit. So between the two, which one are you gonna prefer? <sighs> man, that's so hard because I got so much family. You know what I'm saying in the city in Maryland, but you know what I'm saying Riverdale Swamp, man. Riverdale Maryland. That's that's my home, man. You know what I'm saying Long Little Ball. Shout out to guys, man. Everybody, you hear me? Everybody on the six, you hear me? Long little guys, man. So Maryland is better. That's yeah. what I got. I mean, look, man, we ain't going to say <laughs> better, man. We just going to say, you know, hey, look, man, that's just what it is. You feel me? My city niggas, like, my cousins is from the city. You know what I'm saying? My family is majority from the city. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Don't get it wrong. But, like, Maryland is just home. You know what I'm saying? We been in Maryland. We shit. This, this, this home. Everybody, y'all, like, where we at? MPG County got some ties to the city or some some shit you was born in the city or your grandmother stay out there. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. some shit like that. But I mean, I, I just I can't just say one better than the other, but I will say certain shit be better than certain shit mm -hmm. on both ends. You feel me? Like yeah. the city, the nightlife, like I said, like it is lit, you know what I'm saying, in the city. You feel me? Like I do prefer that. Mm -hmm. I will, you know what I'm saying? Fuck with that. You feel me? Mm -hmm. But uh Merlin, only thing I will say. That I hate about this shit is is is, is the police. You know what I'm saying? Why, the, why do you hear the police, my man? <sighs> I mean, hey, look, man, the ones that do their job, do their job. You know what I'm saying? I mean, but some of uh, them, man, it's just like, it's not even a, a authority thing, man. They just like just be, they just be profiling. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It don't. It, it be funny to me because a lot of us don't even be having shit on us. You know what I'm saying? It be mm -hmm. real shit that they could be doing. Mm -hmm. But they fucking with us, you know what I'm saying? Because of the image, how we look, man. Mm -hmm. Dumb shit like that. It just be wasting our time as much as it waste their fucking time. But have you had any experience with the police that was not good? Man, a lot. You know what I'm saying? A lot. Shit. Hell yeah. Can you man, walk us through someone? Man. Like the worst experience? The worst one? Oh, shit. But ain't nothing really happened. But you know how it was It, it was the worst one? Because mm -hmm. I was, man, I was all the way on the fucking West Coast. Mm. I was always on the West Coast. Now, see, I got some crazy friends. You know what I'm saying? Shit, I'm crazy sometimes. We take risks. We used to be like that. You feel me? But yeah. shit, this was a couple of years back though. We man, we took a ride. I ain't know. I ain't know. where we get this courage from. Mm -hmm. But all of us, uh, me and my little crew and shit, whoever I was fucking with at that time, because you know what I'm saying. That's what it was. I had we took the car and drove all the way to Cali. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying from Merlin. Like wow, I, I drove the straight first fifteen hours, fourteen fifteen hours. My man was supposed to come with me. Tell you this shit, like no funny. Like this is this was some like scavenger story type shit because we was really out there for that money. Mm -hmm. But that's what you would do for that paper. You know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. if you got a plan, you map it out. The fuck them cars was made. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? After them horses, them horses was taking niggas from east to the west. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? We driving this fucking car over there. Keep putting gas in it. Keep going. You feel me? Man, at the end of that shit, like, that's like 5,000 miles I put on a brand new truck I just got not too long ago. It wasn't even brand new, but New enough, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah. But, like, I had an experience like this, though, with the feds out there, though. Like, and I say it was the worst one because you ain't know what was going to happen. You feel me? That's why I say it was the worst one. Mm -hmm. One of the worst ones. Fuck that. Mm -hmm. Because, man, look, I'm leaving the jump. We down there for a week. We do what we do, whatever. 
I leave with my peoples and shit. Mind you, my peoples come down there. She just got in a car accident. Mm. So her mouth wired shut, like literally wired shut. She can't say shit. So we literally texting every, everything we saying. You know what I'm saying? Like her, her shit was fucked up. So boom, um, we on the way back from out there. Mm. And uh, we get up in the mountains. Like we leave Cali and shit. But we get up in the mountains in like Colorado and like shit like that, Denver and all that shit. We leaving from no matter of fact, yeah, Utah. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's exactly where we got cut at. So whole time, my um, I'm a fucking uh, I I, I flow past the police, mind you. I got ways on the jump. Like the little app and shit. I got mm-hmm. I got ways on the jump. Let you know we ride past the police. Mm-hmm. But me not even thinking, no conscious, the service went out. So I'm just driving. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mind you, I got some good ass weed from out that joint. Like, mm. I left with some shit. I know my Cali, man, they probably niggas that's out there joint know about this weed though. It's it's called Sticky Bonds. Mm. And I just got some of that shit. We taking that shit back on the other side. You feel mm. me? So I'm like, fuck it. You know, the rest of the group had split up. The rest, they was going to catch the little transportation back or whatever. We mm. drove back because I had shit to do. Man, we rode past them, them, them people's man, and they sit in like holes down there, and they highways and they roads and shit. Like it's a narrow ass two lane highway. You know what I'm saying? It's two lanes over there, two lanes over there. So we ride down the Jane. They in the middle of the fucking jump, like sitting up and shit. I never seen no shit like this. Both of they lights so They in the grass. You feel me? Mm-hmm. So, you know, where we from, they they sitting in the cut. We could just see them, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> from a distance. And we slow down, on top of the brakes. Mm-hmm. I could do none of that. Mm-hmm. And we trying to get back home. So, you know, I'm doing 100. I mean, mm-hmm. Ain't nobody on the road but us. Mm-hmm. I'm doing 100. So, man, they come out of the joint. But, bro, when I say, bro, this was one of the worst searches ever in life. Like, and I real life didn't know what they was going to do with us because we in the mountains. Mind you that. Mm-hmm. We in the mountains. And I don't mean to say none because I got some Caucasian friends. But we in the mountains with two white men. You mm-hmm. feel me? Mm-hmm. And it's just me and her. And she don't, she can't even talk her shit wide up. They don't know what I'm on. We, we got Merlin IDs and Merlin mm-hmm. tags and shit. They like, what the fuck y'all doing? Mm-hmm. And when I say they searched that job, they might as well rebuild the truck. Like, that's how bad they searched that <laughs> motherfucker. They might as well rebuilt that joint. Wow. Like, they broke that shit down to a decimal and, like, they found the weed and shit. You know what I'm saying? So I explained to them, I'm like, shit, I, I thought I could take this shit with me. I bought it when I was out there. Why I can't take this shit home? You know what I'm saying? That's just what I told them. They still, they end up writing a fat ass citation, like, big dumb ass joint. Like, I owed them, like, 5000 And because. It was doing the uh the COVID shit and all that because mm. it was a non-violent crime was why they ain't locked me up. Mm. But they would have locked both of us up. You feel me? If it was a violent crime or so we shit like weed that. is not um legal in Utah. That's what I'm saying. You feel me? But this to kill. You gotta have. See, they tell you like you know what I'm saying weed and all that shit. Well, you, that, that shit ain't like that. You gotta have an ID for that shit, mm. and they don't let you smoke outside. Like how you think Cali would be and shit like. Or how you think Atlanta or them places, like some people just don't know this shit. Like mm-hmm. you really can't smoke weed in them places like how you think you can smoke. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It ain't even like that. You got to have a car to some more shit. And people that stay out Cali, they paying like half or probably a quarter of the price that somebody from over, you know what I'm saying? Maryland or somebody else would come out there and pay. We paying like 75 or KD or something. If you live out Cali, you paying like 20, 23 dollars or something. Doink, you know what I'm saying? But we was getting taxed for that shit though. But we still gonna smoke good. We ain't coming out that bitch not smoking none. But we was getting hip to the game. You feel mm-hmm. me? We really had nobody out there. We was on bullshit. We came out there. We ain't come out there to meet no fucking body. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Come out there on some shit. I'm gonna keep so, discreet. So walk walk me back to your childhood. How was it like growing up, man? Oh man, uh, I had a lot of fucking fun, man. Like I ain't gonna hold you. Like just being. That my family so big, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, like I ain't got no brother or no. I got four sisters, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I got three sisters, but by blood, but four, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, uh, uh, my my mother, I'm her only boy, and and her three girls, and I have cousins and shit like that that I was real close to, and you know what I'm saying, shit like that, like uh, when we was growing up, so. Mm-hmm. We had always had shit to do. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I always had something to do, but like, 
I can't I can't act like certain certain days wasn't, you know what I'm saying, traumatic, but see, we ain't really know. Cause our people's did good by shielding a lot of shit. So a lot of shit we ain't understand till we got older. We was like shit, that shit was normal. We was already seeing. Yeah, what you know are what, what are some of the things? Um shh, man, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I remember one time where we was living out of shit. Um, this girl, she had came out the gym, uh, and like had a, uh, she had like a fake, like a rubber gun or shit. Mm-hmm. All the police outside having a stand off match. I'm like, I'm like, five, six years old. You know what I'm saying? Younger shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what the fuck going on, but they got all the guns pointed at this girl. She got a fake gun. Then nobody know she had a fake gun. But soon as she pointed at the police, they tore her ass up. And that mm. was one of the first situations like I seen as a child. Like, you know what I'm saying? So it was like a lot of lot of commotion, a lot of people outside and and shit like that. And what made it so like I ain't gonna say I was numb to the shit. It was just how everybody reaction was. You know what I'm saying? Mm. That, I ain't understand that shit when I was that age. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that had happened and We'll be watching it on the news, but it really happened where you live at. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So once I I gained my sensory to that shit, it was like nothing. Was like certain shit, it was like my my folks, you know what I'm saying? They're good parents. But I was around people I was probably shouldn't have been around at a young age just because of the connections that we had, like our family and shit like that. Like mm-hmm. I can't even tell you if my man alive or not, but I know who not here no more. Rest in peace. Oh my rest in peace, Bishop. I'm gonna say that for now. You know what I'm saying? That's my childhood friend, right? Mm-hmm. But I had this older dude that was like, you know what I'm saying, somebody I just walked around the neighborhood with. But a lot of shit I seen with him, I ain't never get touched, so it ain't bother me. You know what I'm saying? I ain't I just seen that shit and you know what I'm saying, we ain't, I ain't take it in the house and tell my mother and mm-hmm. all that shit. This dude wasn't even my family or, or no blood to me, no relative or nothing. His name was Avrao. Mm-hmm. Avrao with a V, Avrao. And this nigga had a unibrow, I swear, amigo nigga. But real life slick gangster and I ain't know that shit. You mm-hmm. feel me? I just, he just treated me well. My mother honest, obviously trusted him for me to walk around with this dude, but I was seeing shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was just seeing shit like, like how niggas really carried the police when I was growing up. Like, they really, like, the police right there on scene. It's broad day. They over the fence throwing rocks at their ass. Like, wow. you know what I'm saying? Like, we right here, but I ain't understand the shit. I'm like, what the fuck the police do to y'all? I'm coming outside to drink the juice or some shit like that. But it was so turnt being at a young age. Like, it was my first time being on probation. I was nine years old. Whoa. <laughs> I was nine years old on probation and shit, and I ain't fucking know that shit. You wow. know what I'm saying? But it was crazy because we all kids. You know what I'm saying? So we walk home together. We good one day, and then next day we beef. So and that well, just tell me something. So when you going through all those experiences, did you believe that you're gonna be something or you want to do something in the future? Man, hey, you know what? I always love music, right? Yeah. So, like, I say the first time I ever wrote some shit, I was nine years old. So that's just what I fake wanted to do. Mm-hmm. And and when I was a young, I seen tattoos right here. That's was something so crazy to me. Mm-hmm. When I was a young, I was always like, yeah, I want tattoos right here. My shit. Da, da, da. I used to always say that. So I always seen, like, some artist, rapper type shit. You know what I'm saying? But I really wanted to do it and not just wear it and look it and you know what i'm saying i really wanted to learn that shit mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying so uh, I, I that was kind of one of my dreams after basketball basketball mm-hmm. was everything to me you know what mm-hmm. i'm saying my father and pushed me to play sports so i played baseball and basketball so at that age it's like man i'm gonna go to the nba mm-hmm. so i'm gonna do that shit i'm and niggas can vouch and i'm gonna look at y'all in your face you can vouch i get on that court Oh, all right. But nah, no figure shit, but yeah, nigga, I'm really him on, on, on certain, yeah, of course, yeah, that's, that's just what it is. But I had that passion like that mm-hmm. to be in the league. Mm. I wanted to play that bad. Like, I was really passionate about that shit. Like, I took neighborhood basketball serious and shit. Like, I'm outside, like, that shit, NBA finals. Like, and we had fun like that growing up. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But my father was the first nigga to tell, hey, 
Nigga, you too short to do all that shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, as a first nigga to tell me, like, look, man, that shit wasn't even up for debate. Like, it was so thrown to the left that dog. I just was like, damn. You know what I'm saying? What the fuck I'm gonna do now? And shit, yeah. I ain't had, I ain't had no other plan. I wasn't. We, I, I did go go and shit growing up too. So it's like we was doing that, and you know what I'm saying, high school and shit like that too. So. I'm just like that ain't shit ain't no. So when your dad time. when your dad told you that that was it, I I ain't gonna say I stopped playing basketball, but that was for the for the part of me dreaming to do that shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he fucked that up. <laughs> I always say that shit. You know what I'm saying? I love my father and other nigga. I wanted to be in the motherfucking NBA. Look at motherfucking Nate Robinson. <laughs> look at all the other short motherfuckers. I could have just got you know what I'm saying? <laughs> shit. Look look at uh with youngin that's in the zone now. Uh, play for New York. He liked that. Mm -hmm. uh, damn, Brunson. Jalen Brunson. I think that's his name. I, I, fuck with, I fuck with shit like that, but I'm a hooper. Though. I'm a baller. Like I love basketball. I ain't playing a little minute because, you know what I'm saying, I'm doing other shit right now. But, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, it, it, it's always there. You feel me? And I told niggas, I always say this shit. All I got to do is play one game of 2K, and I'm right back. Mm -hmm. I can get back in a real court, and I'm like that. Just one <laughs> game of 2K, I bet. This was going on, I bet. And I'm like that. I don't, mm -hmm. it's, this shit is crazy, but... Nah, that was my first dream, bro. Basketball, bro. It wasn't baseball. You know, I was good at that shit too. It was basketball. So when you realize that, oh, probably I can't make it. My dream might be a nightmare. What did you start doing? Shit that was gonna make me some money. What was that? Street life, man. Heavily, you know what I'm saying? Heavily, like. Mm -hmm. And I don't know. It's like I just always been. So confidential and private about how I do shit, how I move. I ain't gonna say a nigga ain't never tricked me. I didn't been tricked before in this shit. This shit is not a game. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So it's like it's bittersweet. You feel me? But hell yeah, it's like I didn't even have a choice. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like some of my friends was around and I seen shit that I wanted, mm -hmm. like shoes and clothes and shit that I wanted, and I'm like. Most of the shit that I get is like birthdays or Christmas, you know what I'm saying? I ain't mm -hmm. no in the middle of the school year. I jump around with some Jones that just came out. Fuck that. I'm still wearing them same motherfucker. I'm scrubbing <laughs> the shit out of them Jones. I'm going outside to play in them. Then I'm going home, scrubbing scrub them motherfuckers and wear them to school the next day. So it's like, mm -hmm. I started seeing that shit and I was like, man, got tired of it. I was like, mm -hmm. I was like 17. I was like, man. Something got to, mm -hmm. something got to give. So it's like, I'm, I met my man, my man Fresh. Like, we done there, like cousins and shit. That's what niggas, that's what we call each other and shit. That's what everybody call each other. And I was like, nigga, my cousin ain't gonna hold you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But the nigga showed me most of the shit that I, he, he really, he, uh, he confirmed most of the shit that I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Most of the shit that I was saying in my mind, like, uh, everybody smoke, you know what I'm saying? Well, I could try like be doing this shit. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And he was, One of them niggas that came in this joint and wasn't from our side for real, for real, but like he came in and just adopted just like that. Mm -hmm. And you know what I'm saying? He was selling weed and shit too. I'm like, shit, nigga, I'm trying to do that shit. <laughs> Fuck. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't going to hold you so crazy. I, I I had thought about this shit like not too long ago. Mm -hmm. And I don't know why, but I was like, bro, all this shit this nigga was giving me, bro, he never asked for no money back. Mm. And I was fucking shit up, buying shit. Like, nigga never asked for no money back. And I was like, what was we even doing this shit for? Like, literally, I did not understand. After I thought that shit the other day. I was like, damn, this nigga ain't never asked me for shit back. Like, and then I looked at it like, that's because that nigga wanted to see me up. He wanted to see me have something. And he was just having it. And I feel like that was probably like the last, real last of a dying breed because I never seen too many niggas do it like him mm -hmm. after that. But, you know what I'm saying? My man's still, you know, alive and kicking. We dads now, so that's what the fuck we are. Yeah, so when when you're on the streets and doing some some stuff, yeah, how do you feel? Do you feel happy? Um, I mean, for real now, it's, it's definitely like being this age, man, shit, you just want to make it home, dog. Like, Mm -hmm. You lose a lot of friends and shit, but at first, before all of that, all the shit hit the fan. Oh yeah, it's nothing. Mm. 
Before the shit hit the fan, it's nothing. You don't even think about this shit. It's like a video game. You don't really think about it. You don't it. think about it like that. You don't think about it until you had kids of your own. Or mm-hmm. Until shit happened to family members around you that ain't had nothing to do with this shit. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that's what make you think like. And then when when that happened, what what do you how do you feel? It's like a a, a, a tug of war type of thing, like You going you you got so many chances, you feel me? Mm-hmm. It's like you have chances to stop what the fuck you doing and do what the fuck you got to do. And sometimes doing what the fuck you got to do be harder than the bullshit. Mm-hmm. So that's the trick to this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like going to work every day, waking up at the same time like be like, "All right, I'm out the way. I ain't I'm saying ain't no shit." But then that shit be harder than the bullshit. The bullshit be like, and when I say the bullshit, I mean like just the the lack of substance, you feel me? And I could speak on that shit now like that because I know that I'm smarter. I always was smarter than the shit that I was doing, but it ain't had no substance. It was just money. It was just freedom. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So having that freedom and that money, you just like, man, I don't, I don't really got nobody to listen to. I don't got no rules. So how are you free if you're doing something that don't give you peace? <laughs> Is that really freedom? And see, that's what I that's what came with time. Mm-hmm. That was my that was my realization after like time. Like it's like certain goals that I accomplished. I'd be like, well, why I'm still doing this if I already got this shit out the way? Why I'm still doing this shit? And I know it was it, it became habitual. Mm. You know what I'm saying? A lot of shit I ain't know no other way to do nothing else. You know what I'm saying? So it becomes a habit. And it's like, yeah, it's not peaceful no more because of the risk. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But then you you shape form your hustle and grind so much that you try to stay out the way so much. So it's like when you do when shit do happen, it don't affect you as worse. But then that hinder the shit even more. So it is is really no way around this shit. So what was some of your worst experience in the street? Uh shit, man. Like I ain't going to hold you like the worst shit is some snake ass shit. I ain't going to hold you. That's some worst shit and my experience with that shit is like snake snake shit. And now when I say that, I mean a nigga that will stab you in your back and the snake is not nobody that don't like you. Mm. That's not a that's not a snake. You feel me? Like a snake is somebody that play like they like you. Mm-hmm. Be around you, you know to, what I'm saying? To get information. To, not even just that, but just be around you just to even see how you move. Mm-hmm. Just to be around you to make they move. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Intel. You feel me? So mm-hmm. a motherfucker will see when you at your weakest point just to attack. Mm-hmm. And that's the worst part of the street shit. Like mm-hmm. I've been through that shit countless Trust. time. Countless times, bro. So that's what made us like, nigga, you playing with life or death. When mm. you being so caring and you just letting everybody into your your peace like that. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Because you want peace, so you giving everybody peace. When some motherfuckers deserve a little stiffness, you know what I'm saying? Just to let them know it's like your vibe. I I have went through so much shit with this shit, bro. Like the PTSD is out the fucking roof. You know what I'm saying? My my father suffered from anxiety. I ain't even want to really say that shit, mm-hmm. but it, it's it's a factor because he been through shit too. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? And I've been through the same lifestyle maybe 10 times worse than my father. Though. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And 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 <laughs> and hiddenly though, not even for him to know this shit. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like what's so crazy is I'm not even going to lie. Like I was laying my head at my mother's house. Mm-hmm. Probably about three years ago, and I had, I had, I was in the bed. I'm in the bed. I got my motherfucking, I got my gun in the bed though. Wow, I ain't gonna lie. And I thought I locked the door. I got the gun in the bed behind the pillow, but I guess by me adjusting the pillow through my sleep, it exposed it. So this laying on the junk, mm-hmm. nineteen with a dick on that motherfucker. He just walks in the room, glue glue, just to talk to me. And the junk on the bed, and I can't even say too much, but it just showed how much. 
of shit, like the street shit that I hid from my father. Like mm-hmm. I ain't want him to say, I ain't let him hear me talking on the phone, how I talk to my friends or mm-hmm. how I talk to people I'm serving or some shit like that. Just weird shit. Just mm-hmm. to, he, I already know he not with that. So I'm not just being disrespectful like that. But like after that, that was probably like the last night I slept in that house. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like not, not uh, as of that date, but like far as like during that time period, I said, nah. I already know what I wanted to do. You feel me? Like I already know that the freedom that I needed for what I wanted to do. Cause I ain't trying to hurt nobody. I'm trying to protect what the fuck I got going on. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people hate for you just to go up your ladder. You see what I'm saying? So that's what really what I'm protecting myself for. So w- when you're do- when you're doing some street stuff, is there a hierarchy? Hell you have, yeah. You have someone to report to and <laughs> oh, stuff like fuck that. How no. is it structured? Fuck no, it ain't I, really that. Out here where we at, they mm-hmm. try and make this shit like that. I ain't gonna hold you. That's all this shit going on. Everybody clicked up and shit like that. Yeah, they try and make it like that. But fuck no, out here in Maryland, DC, ain't nobody. That, it, it, it's, it's shit that you do generally just because you got it. it. It don't really matter if a nigga could be 14 years old. If he got that power, he got that power. Mm-hmm. You feel me? But it just be like that out here. Like, but if you ain't really nobody that either was stepping or been stepping or stepping right now, the respect is kind of at a low because niggas don't know what you're going to do when shit do happen. Mm-hmm. Or niggas don't know what you're going to do in the situation where you got to go over to jail. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? everybody You out. feel me? So <laughs> nobody knows nobody until they do some shit. And mm-hmm. then after they do some shit and get caught for doing that shit mm-hmm. and what they do, if they stay solid or not. So the game is just, it's fucked so up right no now. Str- there's no trust. You don't really trust oh, anybody. Yeah. You got to oh, be looking yeah. left, right, making sure oh, you're yeah. good. yeah. For sure, sure. I mean... I felt like that since 2010, though. Mm. I ain't gonna hold you. I've been feeling like that since 2010, only because I seen so many good people that I fuck with lose their life because they let their guard down. You mm. see what I'm saying? Or guilty by association. You feel me? So you gotta know who the fuck you around. You gotta know what they on, what they did last night. Like you gotta really know this shit because mm-hmm. a motherfucker ain't gonna tell you. And it, and it's just it's sad. It happens like that very frequently, dog. You give guilty by association. You take a picture with somebody, you don't even know what he just did to so and so people's. Mm-hmm. But if y'all was really fucking with each other, how y'all post to become a suspect? You feel me? He ain't for real, for real. Not even just that, bro. He's supposed to tell you. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So you know how to move. You know how to keep your your back. You watching your back. That's your, mm-hmm. if that's your man. Mm-hmm. You feel me? But. She so fucked up now, nigga go on that joint. They don't even waste their time until they telling the first time they get in there, they get a chance to write, write a statement. <laughs> <laughs> they can't wait. Hand sweating and shaking. They can't fucking wait. They sitting in the patrol car. I'm telling all this shit. They, and I don't know why, mm-hmm. but that shit is building popularity now. Niggas just telling how it is. <laughs> wow. Just to get they self scot free off some shit. Mm-hmm. Shit crazy. And it's, and it's working for niggas. So, If you think that they ain't get them to that told, oh yeah, they got the ass too, because now the street justice handle you. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You move, you really moving fidgety. You looking over your back and your shoulders. Motherfucker, now you just got a big ass target on your back. Mm-hmm. Anybody could carry that show. You a rat. Anybody could just say that to you and tear your ass off. Just mm-hmm. cause. You know what I'm saying? That's the law. Mm-hmm. The streets go back. But Streets undefeated, man. Yeah, so sh- the street life got laws that you got to follow. Man, you cannot you cannot really say that you want to live a street life right now mm. in this day and age. Now, back in the day, like I said, being younger, that shit was definitely fun. It was fun riding around in little, little, little shit that you ain't doing, shit that you ain't posing. It was fun. How is it fun? Man, you know what? Me and my man, you know what I'm saying, free my man right now. Couple years back, right? Mm-hmm. We was we was we was real live. Like designer stores and shit, I'd be in there putting shit away. You know what I'm saying? Taking that shit, go sell that shit around the way. Oh. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, we did I we did this shit. I ain't gonna lie, fuck it. I ain't even gonna tell them too much where we was going locations. Mm-hmm. But just know anything that you could think of on this east coast, it fucked it up. Wow. That's all I'm gonna say. And You know, and a lot of shit, like, that's what I'm saying. It's like, we wasn't doing this shit. Like, see, my man, he turns, he goes crazy. My man goes crazy. You know what I'm saying? Free bro, like I said. But 
Me, I just, I seen the opportunity to get some shit done. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, I got a daughter. I had my daughter at 20 years old. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I had a lot of shit that I wanted to get done, dog. Like, bills and Christmas time and shit like that come around. Birthdays or just summertime. You know what I'm saying? You want to have money and it's like, dog, a job was too confining of what I had to do. You feel me? Like, I ain't had a, I don't mean that this, the, the, the history of me and my, my child mother, but dog, I ain't had time for that shit. I'm, I'm doing what I gotta do. You know what I'm saying? So. No time for relationship. No time for that shit at all. Like, it was hard for me to, like, after I stopped dealing with her, I ain't deal with too many, like, just jumping right into situations, like, after mm-hmm. that. Cause, if my daughter don't fuck with you, I wasn't fucking with you either. I don't care if I, you know what I'm saying? Like, wow. Yeah, if my it got it had to be like that because that's that's just how much a uh, part of my life my daughter is. You know what I'm saying? It mm-hmm. got to be locked down like that. But that's how that shit is with my woman now. Mm-hmm. You feel me? And yeah, I I, I love that shit. I, I I really think that that's a beautiful relationship that they have. It's one of a kind because mm-hmm. you don't see that. Too many times people have step parents that they, mm. you know what I'm saying, fuck with like that. So I really fuck with their relationship. Yeah. So um, did anything happen that made you change and stop doing street life? Man. Or do you still do it? The, I mean, look, man, like, I don't want to say that I don't do it, bro. Because mm-hmm. that would be cap. What I can say is. I ain't on no bullshit. It's like shit got to have a meaning. Shit got to have a purpose. Shit got to have a reason. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? When mm-hmm. we doing this shit. So it's like I'm 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 getting to the paper, bro. I ain't all that other shit. I'm getting to the paper. You feel me? Like I'm not trying to bring no harm to nobody, bro. But mm-hmm. I'm getting to the paper, bro. I got eat. I got goals, you know what I'm saying? I got a clothing line. I got music. I'm I'm trying to push so, you know what I'm saying? Man, they ain't giving that shit out. You feel me? Nobody just like, hey, you need a bag to start your career or you need a bag to turn your shit up right quick. Come on, come get. Ain't nobody doing that. You got to go get it yourself, right? Mm-hmm. So so how are you going to get aspect, it? I mean, look, bro, as a hustler, mm-hmm. a lot of people don't know how to get their hands clean or dirty. But mm-hmm. as a hustler, like, I know how to get to, get to the money. You feel me? Wherever it is. Nigga, we be selling weed for one day, selling this for that day, doing that for. It's, it just is what it is. I get a job. You mm-hmm. feel me? Mm-hmm. It's it's any by any means to get to a goal that I'm trying to reach. I'm gonna do what I gotta do. Like I'm like I ain't gonna lie to you. Like it's so much transformation in my life. Like I'm a behavioral uh, technician um, dealing with children, mm-hmm. like with mental disabilities. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? That's something that I'm. I'm, I'm good at it. I've been doing that mm-hmm. for some time. I got some experience under my belt. Mm-hmm. And, like, that's a career field for me. You know what I'm saying? So with the street shit, it's like, I'm, I'm not going to lie. Like, I got I, I jam on that weed shit. I mm-hmm. jam. I ain't going to hold you. I've been cranking for so long, it's like, I don't know how to stop. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I, I eat all this shit. I didn't, I didn't watch shit transform. That's one of so, my hardest words, biggest word, transform. I just seen go from level to level to I can be fucked up but like and it's not, and it's now I know that it's not a dependent like I'm not dependent on just selling weed. I'm not gonna say that shit. Mm-hmm. I'm not dependent on that because I'm dependent on my hustle. I can go to zero right now and bounce right the fuck back. You know what I'm saying? That's what I've been doing. Mm. So it's like by building that craft and building that skill more and more, you learn how to be a top tier hustler. Can't no situation stop you or what the fuck ever you try to do. Can't no situation stop that because you a, a hustler for real to the core. You can go on zero. So how do you get back up? Do you get back up by selling weed or Man, how? bro, I hustle so hard, bro. Like, I ain't going to lie. Like, I'm not up until I can move my mother and, and, and certain other family members and do certain shit. Like, I ain't, I ain't never going to be up, bro. Like, to look at other people, yeah, I'm up. Mm-hmm. If I was comparing myself to people, but I'm comparing myself to my goal. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, nah. What's your goal, like, though? What's your ultimate goal? Mm, um, I really, I really dream of having a, a storefront. I want something like that for my city. I want to be in D.C. or Maryland. Don't matter. 
but a storefront, um, you know what I'm saying, on, on either side of the of the map, DC or Maryland, like I say, it could be even be out of Virginia too. But I want a storefront and certain things that I, I want to do with it. You know what I'm saying? And certain things, of course, I want to make a couple collaborations with some artists that I favor and I fuck with in the industry and shit like that. But like for the most part, I want my own storefront. I want to be able to do shit that I got in mind for my community and ways of giving back and, you know what I'm saying, shit like that. Like I, I got big ideas for So how do you think you're going to get to that that goal? Or the aspiration. Um and, and and to be quite frank, to be just straight up, like you just gotta just cut off all dead weight. And that's what I'm going through right now, is growing pains. Like I lost a lot of friends, bro, due to the streets and due to just relationships just being cut off. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I lost a lot of friends and I had to figure this shit out like, damn, why the fuck it was like that? You know what I'm saying? Why it's like that? We was just So and so was just with me. We was doing this and that, or we recorded all this music. Why we ain't, you know what I'm saying? Woo woo. So I had to realize like maybe my shit just on a different mission and the things that I asked and prayed for don't involve them. So the ones that still here now, that's who it involved. You know, so I, I can't dwell on who not here no more and, and shit like that. But I see why certain shit happens because Man, I done ran into situations where it's like, niggas, I done been locked in with 10 years plus. Can't even tell you why they don't fuck with me. Mm. Can't even tell you a reason. Can't even tell you something that happened. Can't tell you I fucked they bitch. Can't tell you I stole some, robbed them, ran back into their car. Nothing. What the fuck I do? You feel me? But I don't, I don't dwell on it. It is what it is. But once you let a nigga know that's what you want, fuck it. That's what you want. But you know to stay your ass over there. You could do all the talking you want. But it's like, man, like me, I ain't, I ain't gonna go back and forth and do all that shit with y'all. Y'all got it. It is what it is. So, what would you tell a young person who won that street life or that street experience? Would you advise a person to stay away from it? Or hell yeah. like, go hell, try it out? Hell, hell yeah. Why? Hell yeah. Stay away from it. And only reason I say that, if you got an opportunity to stay away from it, stay away from it. Like my little man and shit, um, He had a situation where he can get the fuck out of state. And I said, go. Mm. Why not? Why be around this junk? For what? Ain't shit out here, you gonna crash. You gonna do the same thing everybody else doing. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And he doing fucking great. You know what I'm saying? I'm proud of him. But mm -hmm. I really, I really don't get no pat on my back for that shit. Because mm -hmm. he could have said, man, fuck what you talking about. It took for a man to do what he did. As a, at a young age, and you attracted to all your friends and all this shit doing, you did niggas doing every day. We getting high, we going to see these business, or we going to do this, going to do that. It's like all young shit. What's your biggest regret? Mm. Um, my biggest regret. <sighs> don't, you don't I, have any regret at all. I I do I do. My biggest regret though was not finishing college. Mm. Why? I'm, I'm gonna say that because. The, the the accomplishment was bigger than the challenge. Mm. You know what I'm saying? The accomplishment was bigger than the challenge. And I, I took that shit lightly. You feel me? It was my first time being on my own for real. I took that shit lightly. But like not finishing that shit like, you know what I'm saying? And really sharpening whatever skill that I wanted to be. I just didn't really know what I wanted to do. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So... You just did one double. I just, you know what I'm saying? My mother sent me to school. I ain't had no choice. Like, I always, my parents was always on my back, like, about school and shit like that. Like, I always did some shit, though. Always was in trouble in school, but they would, they stayed with me so I can, you know what I'm saying, make it through this shit. But, like, I got sent to Merle East for sure. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I, and I fucked around and started a go go band out there, too. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, bro, I was doing whatever the fuck I wanted to do out there, Jay. Hey, long live Cortez Carter, man. Long live my man C. Carter, man. Like, that's my fucking man. Long live C. Tez, man. Damn. Like, that bring well, like, memories back. But Merle for sure, like, hell yeah. Like, what? Man, I was out there, dog. And it was DC versus Merlin out there, strong. Whoa. Strong DC versus Merlin out there, John. I don't know if it's still like that now, but. And probably not because like the the type of rappers that was out 
when when I was in school out there, oh eight, oh nine, mm-hmm. they ain't out here now. You know what I'm saying? So like inciting all that shit like that. You feel me? Mm-hmm. So now the shit was just straight party, bad business with back in my little era. I mean, it should have get auntie, but mm-hmm. music wise wasn't that how it is now. Like So you mentioned something about street life that you were you were not you did not have like a good relationship with your 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 daughter's mom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That shit affected me a lot, bro. Like, Why? And, be- and how? And because I ain't gonna hold you, and I don't mean no disrespect. You know what I'm saying? Hey, we good now, like we way closer. But like, bro, that shit fucked me up. Cause I I was really I I had so much sacrificing to do. You know what I'm saying? That I ain't even know. Mm. You feel me? A lot of shit I couldn't do that I was already doing. So, you know, just by me having my daughter so much, she experienced and knew a lot of shit before. Um, before I felt like she should have, you mm. know what I'm saying? Like, just by me being in the streets, and she gotta go with me, you know what I'm saying? And see me like real do shit that I ain't, I know I ain't supposed to do in front of her. Whoa, you know what I'm saying? And 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 it wasn't that graphic. You don't get me wrong, but it's like just the the knowledge that she had at youngest four years old was impeccable to me, bro. Like, bro. I hate I, I hate that this shit even happened, right? Because this will make me hide this shit even more. She still can't to this day can tell you that I sat and smoked and talked to her with a whole J in my mouth. I don't do that shit. I don't smoke in my house, none of that shit. Mm-hmm. So, you know what I'm saying? But like this one time, I got her at the playground, this Elias by herself. And this dude walked up and he like, What's up? And I do what I gotta do. And she like, You gonna do that right here? Man, she four years old, bro. Wow. So it fucked my mind up just like seeing how on point she was. And mm-hmm. I'm just like, how the fuck you even know this bad or good? Mm-hmm. You ain't never even seen me go to jail for this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like even times I come home, I'm smelling like this shit. And my mother like, you smell like weed. And my daughter like, no, he don't. He don't smell like weed. No, the fuck he don't. Da, da, da. So like, that's my ace. Like, I don't play by her. Like, that's my dog. Like, we, I, I just grew with her. You feel me? I grew as a father and as a man by having a daughter. Would you, would you love your daughter to be in the streets? Fuck no. Mm. So it's like, I'm glad that she she got a taste of this shit. Mm. Feel me? To know this shit. Feel me? Like really, she already lost She already lost people to the streets. Wow. You feel me? Before she even like was in the street. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, why would she even go there? I didn't understand that shit growing up. We grew up two different lifestyles. You feel mm-hmm. me? So it's like, I didn't understand the street at all when I was growing up. I didn't know shit wasn't supposed to be the way it was. Like I said, till I got older. Mm-hmm. Certain shit I wasn't supposed to see, I, uh, I seen. I didn't know that shit till I got older. Did you even, when you're in the street, do you love? Do like you love? Do, yeah, do you fall in love? Oh, man. Or is love an illusion? Man, I ain't gonna hold you, bro. Like, love is very sacred in the mm-hmm. street. Mm-hmm. I ain't gonna hold you. Love is very sacred. I mean... Like I said, like most of most of my shit was, you know, I was I was in a relationship, shit like that. Like I just know that I could have did better shit in a relationship. That's everybody, anybody, you know what I'm saying? But when you in the street like that and you in a relationship, yeah, it affects your partner because even they think that you doing shit all the time. And, mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You may be really going to get some money, but they really think you cheating on them and doing mm-hmm. shit. And they, that's some kind of accusations. Then y'all ain't fucking and y'all ain't doing this and that and the third. And that was kind of the problem that I was fucking having. I'm like, you know what I'm saying? Ooh, shit like that. But were you so doing weird. that though? Well, I mean, look. Time to time? I, I, I ain't going to hold you like... Towards the end of that shit, yeah. Mm-hmm. Towards the end of that shit, yeah. But like, not aggressively, cause it's so crazy. Like one of the biggest situations that I even got caught up for. She knew the fucking girl and shit like that, and it was just so weird. This bitch wasn't even f- living nowhere near us and shit like that. Like mm-hmm. it was just weird and shit how that shit happened. So you know what I'm saying? But like, far as being in this. Like in this shit and having a family or having potential to have a family and do shit. It was just hard because the finances wasn't there. And then, you know, I wasn't having no job. Don't nobody believe in no dope boys doing mm-hmm. shit like, you know what I'm saying? Because I really didn't have it, but I didn't have nobody back in that shit either. Mm-hmm. You feel me? So. But did you love your girl back then? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, yeah. And like, I'm going to tell you, bro, like, yeah, I was in the street, but I was, man, I was at, I was in the house every night. Every night before like 10, 30, 12 o'clock, I'm in the house. Mm-hmm. Every night. So you operate during the day? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. During the day, man, I go, I go fuck the street up. I go fuck the block up right quick and really do that shit. Sometimes I ain't even had no plan, but I know I ain't sitting around the house. I, I'm a busy body. Like, I got to get up and do something. I got to do something. It's always something to be done. You feel me? So I know I ain't lose that characteristic at all, but like, Like I said, developing from this shit, I already know I used to be just reckless, just getting up. Especially when I bought my first charger. I bought the first charger, my my uh my Hemi off this shit. Oh man, bro. I ain't even see my bed like that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like I ain't, I ain't see my bed like that. I was out fucking sad, bro. But that was that was like end of my relationship shit. And and for real, I was trying to get back with my big mom. How how did the relationship end and what caused that? Uh, man, I just kept getting caught up, mm-hmm. like, like with shit, like because we beef so much about shit, like, you know. So people just get tired of that shit. It was just, you know, she was tired of that shit. You feel me? She she lived a lot of her life doing a lot of nothing with me because we were just like not clicking. We just wasn't on the same shit, you feel me? So it's like, I want to do this and do that. And she ain't really, you know what I'm saying, want to do certain shit I want to do. And I couldn't do certain shit that she wanted to do. We was young trying to figure shit out. I was a young father. You know what I'm saying? How old were you at the point? Mother. Man, we was 21, 22. But when we broke up, we was about, what, like 26? Wow. Shit, like 27. So, yeah, that was, that was one of my longest, yeah, that was my longest relationship, if I'm not mistaken. And... When's your life? What did that teach you? Um, man, boy, I didn't know how bad that shit was going to hurt. And and I'm going to tell you something. I don't know if it's just me, but bruh, I was more sick thinking about all the shit that she was going to be doing with another nigga. Oh, my <laughs> God. Oh, my God, boy. <laughs> <laughs> and I hated that because I felt like a simp. Like, well, I fuck, I care. I can fuck this, this, that, this, that, that, that. And all you can hear is the, you know what I'm saying? I don't mean, all you can hear is like they 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 moaning the and sound. shit like that. The <laughs> sound. Yeah. That's all you hear. That's all you think about is they head. and they, Oh, man. That's all you think about. You think about fucking thing. That's all you think about, bro. Okay. And then you think about another nigga, like a nigga, a young, one thing young. I was working at DTL, bro. I was, when I say I was going through this shit, like, bro, I was losing sleep off this shit, all that, right? Randomly, bro, shit used to, gyms used to just be happening. Like, shit used to be dropping on me. Bro, this nigga coming to DTL, when I was working on Rhode Island Avenue, Northeast. This nigga coming at chain. He like, yeah. Randomly, though. He like, man, these bitches, they going to do the same shit that they do to you. They going to do that shit to the, nev- the next dick. They gonna do the same shit. It don't matter. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So why you, you know what I'm saying? Why the fuck you still worried about this shit? I'm talking about, bro. I never seen this man damn my life. Mm-hmm. I'm just looking around like, who the fuck he talking to? But like, he like turned around like he on the phone and all this shit. He was like, never forget. These bitches are gonna do the same shit that they did with you with the next nigga. And after that, it's like, I start healing better. I was like, you know what? He right. Mm-hmm. It's been just all that do shit way nasty and freaky. You know what I'm saying? That's mm-hmm. how my lord, my my shit was thinking about. I'm just like, man, I'm just. I I feel like after that situation, because I know it was partially my fault though, and like I was just like, fuck it, I'm just gonna go through these women. I just start just, you know what I'm saying? Just mm-hmm. going through their ass, just whatever, whoever. You know what I'm saying? Not even whatever, but yeah. I'm now I'm back out here. That's mm-hmm. how I was treating the situation. And you just started having fun with just started having ladies. fun, shot shot experiencing different shit. And no relationship. No relationship, dog. No, no commitment. No commitments. Why? That shit. Why? Mm-hmm. Because of the breakup? Yeah. And and because you know what? It's so many reasons on why. I still felt like if I got myself together, I was gonna get my baby mother back. Cause I'm gonna be honest with you, it wasn't even just my baby mother that I was tripping off of. 
I grew up in a household where I only know one parent, you know what I'm saying, and and, and my two parents, my mother and my father. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? So all all my siblings we blood, you know what I'm saying? Same mother and father. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I was so gone off. Like, damn, I ain't now my next baby mother, they not gonna have the same. That's how much I love my daughter. Put it to you like that. I love my daughter so much. That I was willing to go through whatever to fix that shit with her mother. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But you were still like, having fun. Still, like, still having my fun because my father say this sand, man. He say, hey, man, get your dick out the dirt, man. Get your dick out the sand, man. <laughs> get your dick out the sand, son. That's what he told me, man. And I, and I literally said, you right. You know what I'm saying? You right, dog. You right. I ain't no bad looking nigga. I ain't, you know what I'm saying? I got my head on straight. I might not have this, that, and the third, but I can, you know what I'm saying? Woo woo. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Yeah, but did, do you think that if, let's just assume that you were not on the street, you were not doing any crazy stuff in the streets, and you were, you understood her better, you guys vibe better, and you tried to understand how she felt at the moment? You guys will have been better. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I definitely know that, and that's not just with her, mm-hmm. but with any woman. But it also take two. Mm-hmm. It ain't just me. Yeah. You know what I'm it saying? Take two to tango. It take two. So yeah. it's like being who I am now is why I am why I'm with who I'm with today. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Like I know who I am today. I wouldn't be with my baby mother today. Mm. I still wouldn't be with you know what I'm saying my my daughter mother. And I'm not trying to carry it like. You know what I'm saying like that, but I just know that where I grown to in life, you feel me? I know what my perception of what I would want. Mm-hmm. You feel me? And the shit that I I admire in a woman. You know what I'm you know, saying? What are some of the things you admire in a woman? Um, honestly, like I'm gonna tell you, like dog, I love when a woman don't gotta. And I'm not saying this because it's kind of like rebuttal off of my child mother. We just we gonna dare that right there, mm-hmm. but. Though, I mean, I like for a woman not to be seen for real, for real. Like, I, it, it's so hard and rare to find these type of women. So that's why I'm dealing with who I'm dealing with now because I don't have these problems. I don't have to worry about it. I'm like, well, why she taking 100 pictures a day? Mm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, <laughs> what the fuck? Like, <laughs> we seen you yesterday. Why you keep taking pictures and shit? Like, who are you trying to impress? <laughs> I seen you. Yeah. I sleep with you. I wake up with you. I take you to work. Why the fuck is you still taking pictures? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Uh, and women feel to realize, like, they think that looking so good and so sexy make the nigga with the bag want to save him. Mm. And then the nigga with the bag, yeah, that's wifey right there. Yeah. Mm. And then wonder why the nigga with the bag, his bitch don't really look like, I ain't going to say that about my girl, though. But niggas wonder why the nigga with the bag, sometimes they bitch don't really be looking like how you would expect. For they bitch to look like mm. If that make any sense <laughs> You know what I'm saying Cause certain niggas be like Oh He got all that paper And that bitch look like I'm the fuck bro But it's like it, It's like that because mm-hmm. Maybe that bitch loyal to him Maybe she was at the bottom With the nigga Maybe she the reason why he up mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying and, it, and it's like It ain't had to come into Looks and all that other shit Like I ain't gonna hold you Like my girl Beautiful All that I ain't gonna hold you. Love her to death. You feel me? Man, certain shit that I would see myself doing with females that I'm not trying to be with. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, that's the type of shit that had to, tr- had to trigger in my mind. Like, that's the only reason you think about that shit because you would do those type of things with women that's not yours, that you're not going home to. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that's what made me stop thinking about those things and stop wanting to do this shit because I'm like, bro, I wouldn't even take this bitch home if I was... Would I be doing that shit in my bed if I lived with her? Like, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like, would I be letting this junk come up? Mm-hmm. Would I wake up to this junk every day? Like, really mm-hmm. though? Like, and that's what a lot of niggas got ask they so real life questions and stop living in the moment mm-hmm. when it come to these women. Cause that's how niggas getting back door right now. Everybody want to act like macho man for the woman. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? They're not even knowing what they want for real, for real. They just looking at what they see. They going off that. Mm-hmm. They trying to get a reaction from the women of what they doing. Not even know this bitch ain't even paying attention to nobody. Mm-hmm. She trying to get her check, get the fuck out of there. Real life, <laughs> get that bread, that head. And le- like these bitches really be on that. Like listen to their little lyrics. Mm-hmm. They really be on that shit now. They dragging shit like how we was. Mm-hmm. How the men was really doing that shit. Now the females feel like that. 
You know what I'm saying? The females feel like shit. Well, I got four or five niggas. Somebody gonna pay this light bill. <laughs> You feel me? You feel me? Just like we like shit. I got four or five minutes. Somebody gonna buy this 2K. Yeah. Somebody gonna buy this motherfucker. Shit, she gonna put this tie in my brakes on. So, Fuck that. Um, which is more? Is it the ladies or the guys? Right now. Oh man. It's definitely the ladies. The ladies up one. Mm. They up one. They up they up 50 million. <laughs> They up 50 million right now. And the only reason I'm gonna say they up like that yeah. is because niggas simping. Mm. Niggas simping bad though. Not even just with the money. Niggas simping with the emotions. Niggas simping with the law. Mm-hmm. This on how shit supposed to be. They letting a woman direct too much traffic out here. You know what I'm saying? Not saying that women ain't supposed to because you want a leader. I want a leader in my house too. I want to lay next to a leader too. But certain shit ain't supposed to be for them. And that come with a lot of absences like... Niggas not being in their kids' lives and shit like that. So them taking on, them women taking on responsibility of the man mm-hmm. and the woman. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So they getting a little tougher now. They like, shit, I'm going to take this little nigga to football practice. Mm-hmm. We'll call you later. <laughs> He's like, damn, what the fuck? Oh, all right. My son, yeah, he all uh, did this. He's like, oh, all right, see y'all. You know what I'm saying? But that's just what it is now. Like, So they definitely up because they... They so to the point. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Niggas still hiding around what they really want. We ain't, ain't too many niggas really collecting a bag off a of bitch just for nothing. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, these women collecting a bag off these men, and I've seen it. Mm-hmm. I see it. It's still hot for nothing. They ain't spanking nothing. Ain't touching nothing. Ain't licking suck nothing. Mm-hmm. Really? Just paying that girl. Just giving the cash. Giving that cash. Just up. to call her my girl. <laughs> Just to just to say that's his girl, I swear, and call her on the phone. I, <laughs> bro, I ain't lying, bro. And and this shit, that's why I said they forever be up. Yeah, sugar mamas and shit like that. There's this woman that's green like that out here, but the ratio is a little fucked up. Mm. Y- y'all women is up on that shit, like straight up. And man. do you think hate- it's difficult to find out? Oh no, nah. if you smart, bro. If you smart and just pay attention to little shit, like what are some of the things you can do to find out? Oh man, pay attention to time frames. Mm. Time frames say it all. Mm. Time frames say it all. Cause if she don't got no job, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying. If she don't got no job, ain't no motherfucking way that she feel like she should be calling any nigga to give her anything to do anything right mm-hmm. without having something that she did for that man. And that's just what it is in this day and age right now. Mm-hmm. It's something that they doing. It's in exchange. It ain't, especially if they not in no relationship. Oh, man. She don't got no job. Mm-hmm. Just think about time frames, though. Like, I right, bet. She get it talking to this one nigga. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You look on the Instagram story. I right, bet. She loving the nigga so much. Woo, woo, da, da, da. Oh, like, like cute couple. If it's your girl, though, what do you do? Nah, hold up, though. Let me get to this real shit, though. Because mm-hmm. they be really having this fucked up. Y'all see these girls bunning up they dude on the, on the gym. They, yeah, looking good on the ground. Man, 10, 30, 11 o'clock, she popping ass and some see-through shit in the lounge. How the fuck that happen? Mm. That's the only point I was trying to make. It's just like you got to pay attention to time frame. Some of these niggas be really more frail in the back than they woman. You feel me? Like So they let them get away with so much shit now. Can't even... That's why shit going up. It's everybody... Everybody for real You know what I'm saying Like mm-hmm. that shit Crazy And it's because Niggas so sweet They just blind to the shit They's like Oh I love my baby mother I never let her go Rest in peace DMX But that's some real shit Like niggas just not Trying to let these bitches go And then They they put on the front Like they don't fuck with the bitch But as soon as a nigga That he know Or see Or he see a nigga with her It's all out war about the bitch mm. So it's You know what I'm saying I don't mean to disrespect All the black queens But Or, or any queens at all But I'm just saying Women is up on that shit And they up Whether they want to be on bullshit Or whether they want to Just be a good girl They up mm. So do you worry That your girl Can cheat on you? Ooh I put it to you like this I never worried about No woman cheating on me More than My daughter mother Mm. I used to be on the line I used to always say the shit to her Like mm-hmm. Used to think that shit She ain't answering the phone Or some shit like that mm-hmm. But you know what 
only did it because I was doing it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking to different little females and doing <laughs> shit like that. You <laughs> so know what I'm saying? Want your lady to do it? Exactly. Exactly. So it's like I accuse her. Mm-hmm. This little shit Cause just me And being insecure And going through certain shit But my woman now Fuck no mm-hmm. If I felt like that And this is how I need to know too mm-hmm. If you feel like that About anything You dealing with bro Cut that shit off Everything shaky Right now Just gotta go bro Enough, If it's not solid It just gotta go bro and Why the, risk and it then what, if, what if you get cheats on you What are you gonna do Oh man my shit gone, bro. I ain't gonna hold you. I'm gonna be honest with you, bro. I can't think about him having his foot <laughs> on your head while you <laughs> ass in the air. He's smacking that junk, spitting in your butt and shit. Like, nah, I ain't on that. I just, it's, that shit would throw me off. Like, because mm-hmm. I'm supposed to be the only nigga on earth. Like, why you playing with it? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm supposed to be the only nigga on earth. Mm-hmm. Like, straight up. Like, that's how it's supposed to be. Like, you ain't even supposed to look. Right, it's life though. So do you, do you let your girl have male friends? Ooh, fuck no. Why? She don't even have friends. She don't even like talking <laughs> to motherfuckers. Why? She and then and, and, and you know what? It's so rare to have a woman that I have right now, bro. Mm-hmm. Like she's so rare. You know what I'm saying? Like if she was doing some shit like that, I'd be fucking shocked. Like face on the floor. Like damn, for real. Like she'd be a slick motherfucker, my old like. But honestly, like, I don't, I don't never get to have a high from her. Right? But, but as far as that, she ain't no giggly, giggly ass bitch. Like, these bitches be giggly, giggly, giggly. You can say anything to them. It could be in a flirtatious uh, uh, type of manner or, or just some little, just saying some little shit. You know, just anything. Mm-hmm. And my girl stiff on them peoples. I love that shit. Mm-hmm. She stiff on them peoples, man. She ain't even saying that. Do you, do, you, do you look around so like, oh, man, this other girl, she got something going on right here. Man, I mean, you know what, bro? It's so many women, like, I ain't going to hold you like that directly be on my dick. I'm mm-hmm. not even going to lie. Like, And I know it. She know it too, my girl. I know that shit. Like, it don't be no secret. I be no, I be... <laughs> Bitches that I serve and shit like that, be shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's natural, you feel me? Because I ain't no ugly nigga. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I know how it's coming, but I don't carry myself like, all right, so I'm going to bring myself around certain areas because I know bitches are going to be right there and I know they're going to be. I I, I ain't even worried about them because I can go anywhere. They're going to break their neck. They're going to look. I ain't going to hold you. That's just what it is, bro. I don't know what it is, but I know what it is. You know what I'm saying? So. It's never, I'm never geeking or gone off these jumps no more. And that's some real peace, too. That's mm-hmm. some real peace, bro. Mm-hmm. Cause like, I used to be bad with this shit. Like, I'm going to smack it, everything I like. Mm-hmm. Fuck that. And I'm bagging them. And yeah, if tagging them if I can, fuck that. Like, how, that's how did you get that, though? How did you get to the peace? The um, inner peace. Man, really just wanting more for myself, wanting some, some, some stuff. Like level ground mm. you know what I'm saying? Like I said That shaky ground Life would be like that You fucking with 10 15 bitches Like that should be like that ain't, ain't, ain't no sturdiness mm. You don't know where, Ain't nowhere to <clears throat> kick your feet up For real You ain't comfortable Nowhere You know what I'm saying Everywhere you go Is a different female mm. Like that's That shit that just Get to blow on me Like nah So I don't know As I got older I say that As I got older and I start seeing the value of having one woman, mm-hmm. like knowing, you know what I'm saying, these bitches dirty. Mm. You feel me? Like knowing shit like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> bitches dirty and shit, man. Like, I ain't trying to curry all y'all, but when some of y'all need to stop. <laughs> Fuck y'all doing, man. man. You gotta be clean, man. Chill. Shower, bro. That shit crazy. It ain't even just taking a shower. <laughs> it's the shit that y'all doing, man. I, hey, look, man. Wrap it the fuck up, man. That's all I'm saying. Y'all put some condoms on because it's a lot of shit going around and going down. Y'all to stop for you end up like a clown, man. Oh, man. So, <clears throat> do you really value a relationship now or you still Oh, yeah. Same? Yeah, I, I, um, I value relationship. Like, I, I preach that shit to everybody. You know what I'm saying? But finding the right partner is definitely key. You know what I'm saying? It do take a lot of stress off because it's like you always wondering where the bitches at when you're single. I ain't going to hold you. When you're single, you're always wondering where the bitches at. I don't care who you is. 
Nigga, you trying to see where the bitch is at. Whether it's once out of the week, twice out of the week, or seven days out of the week. When you're single, that's just what it is. And it's harder to focus on what you need to focus on, bro. Mm-hmm. So I preach, yeah, find you a cool joint and chill. Because these bitches, man, right now, bro, females is back door niggas. You know what I'm saying? Like, niggas just getting used for their money. Females getting the same way. They getting abused and treated like anything just because they want company. And some of these niggas carrying them, you know what I'm saying, using them, beating them down to the ground and shit like that. Yeah, it, it's just it's just a lot of that going on. But I still value relationship because it just needs to be real and sincere. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You got to step into it really knowing you getting used to or getting, getting to know somebody instead of just rushing into sexual relations or we going here and there and everywhere. And then two months down the line, we don't even talk no more. Like, really just... Stop being more careful with what y'all doing. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I definitely preach that shit to have somebody solid for you, though. Like, no no bullshit. You need at least one solid motherfucker for you. Fuck. That's facts. Mm. That's facts. And what if someone have a girl and the girl breaks his heart and he do it again and it keeps on happening? What might be the problem? Uh... Shit, some dudes, man, like, <clears throat> some dudes, they they even get physical with the shit. They start, especially if they seen their fathers act like that with women. Hey, so they hitting on their ass, doing all the time, <laughs> <laughs> fucking their ass up, and their ass in the ER. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Wow. Niggas, shit, nigga get carried now with the rejection, and he want to fight, he want to shoot. Wow. Like, damn, like, oh, so it's really, like, everything's so sensitive now. You know what I'm saying? Everything's so sensitive, so it's like, But for that man that, that that keep getting his heart broke, it's something that he doing wrong. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because you putting your heart into the wrong shit. Mm-hmm. Everybody, don't like I said earlier, access to you should not just be granted to everybody. This shit ain't Google. Mm-hmm. This shit ain't Wi-Fi. Nah, motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Everybody don't get the password. You yeah. know what I'm saying? <laughs> you got to just like guard your heart and see... I be telling niggas like, yeah, she get you up there, you know what I'm saying? Some, yeah, you gonna get some pussy, you gonna fuck, you gonna do this and then a third. But at the at the end of the day, your heart ain't dead. You don't really love that Jane. You know she don't love you. As soon as she ready to deal with another man, she gonna make up some shit with you and get you the fuck out of her house. So why not make yourself stable on your own, bruh? You niggas grown and shit, bruh. Stop mooching and feeding off these bitches real live. Get on your so- shit. Is relationship all about sex? Uh, 98%. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 98% of the why time. The, why 98%? I mean, because honestly, who going to stay around if 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 you don't like your partner's sex, why are you going to stay with him? I mean, sex, sex, obviously, but 98%? I'm not going to say 98% of the time, though. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying how important it is because mm-hmm. it's like if I don't get with get along with you sexually that's definitely a no-no for me mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying because that just causes problems you're gonna be cheating you're gonna be doing this you're gonna be i'm gonna be doing that because mm-hmm. we not se- we just not meant meant for each other yeah, so, so I, sex is very important in relationship it is yeah it's very important i agree very. with that but as, apart from sex what other thing um somebody that is really going through or not even going through because everything don't be necessarily bad but somebody that's really living through life with you mm. you know what i'm saying like it, 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 if you got that person like something happened you know what i'm saying aunt passed or something like that we had the funeral together mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying and family events you with me mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying like shit like that like just building a a bond you mm-hmm. feel me you want to bond as well as the sex yeah a bond because what if I just want to laugh and kick it and watch TV with you and some people can't do that because they bond straight on sex mm. they don't even turn the fucking TV on mm. just when they see each other and see you later <laughs> yeah see you later run right. around they're over and that's and, that's this and that's, the lady is about to start oh man <laughs> oh man come on man and and they not even upset like now how that shit going some of these women they got men for certain shit that they want them for mm. you know what i'm saying so they call up slim <laughs> and slim come do what he do and slim roll out and she in the house 
Talking to Slim, other Slim. Uh-huh. Like, I don't talk to nobody. I don't know why I be coming over here <laughs> or none of that. Nah, my son be here, da, 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 but that's it. And, the, and then what about the guys who are struggling in your sex life? Oh. What can they do to improve? Nigga uh, struggling in his sex life? Yeah. Man. Bruh, check your hygiene, dog. Check your swag, dog. Like, check your wordplay, dog. What the fuck you got on your feet? Like, what jeans you got on? What, what, what music you listening to, nigga? Maybe you need to hit the gym. Mm-hmm. Certain niggas got to go through shit and say, this what I want. You know what I'm saying? I want I want to I want to be undeniable by the, by the baddest bitches I wanted. To, you know what I'm saying? That's what you want. You mm-hmm. feel me? But it's like something. It's just a little change in your game, dog. Like, if you not really having no luck, With the chicks, it's a change in your game you got makes, man. And that's just that's just facts. Like, you might not never know you start going to the gym and shit like that, working out and shit like that. That should help your mental clarity and all that. You start start looking better, you start eating better and shit like that. Shit, that's a whole different nigga now. Mm-hmm. You ain't the same nigga from motherfucking ten years ago. You feel me? So it's like transform yourself, dog. Stop thinking just because you got a little money or you gonna keep spending your money or you know what I'm saying, you you got a little nice car that she and, and her and she's they supposed to go like that. Some of you niggas fucked up in the head, man. Ain't bitch ain't worried about the materials. You know what I'm saying? And and some of these women that that wanna bang bang, they definitely ain't worried about that <laughs> shit. Tell you now, sir. They Someone's don't give a gonna fuck. be taking care of it. Man, you could pull up on a scooter. If you doing that thing right, <laughs> tell you, buddy, it don't even <laughs> fucking matter. If you doing that thing right, it don't matter. So it's just shit that you got to change with yourself, player. So what if the person don't know how to do it right? What oh, are some of the ways to do it right? Doing it more. You know oh. what I'm saying? <laughs> Practice make perfect with any motherfucking situation. Even mm-hmm. if you need to get you a little jump mm-hmm. that ain't on shit. You know what I'm saying? That ain't really none, but she let you go. Get your practice in, Slim. Go. <laughs> go so you learn what the fuck to do. It ain't really. See, I never been a nigga that'll tell you, yeah, go ahead and watch some porn and, and get and learn how to do this and do certain positions and mm-hmm. all that. Them niggas, them the niggas you don't trust, bro. <laughs> watch out real. for that, bro. They do some it's shit. They they do some shit, bro. Acting, acting, exactly, bro. bro. They do some whole other shit, bro. But it's like. You know what I'm saying? You really can't tell nobody how to make their sex better. They just got to do it more, learn what what they... I ain't going to hold you. I I had learned what the fuck I was doing to these women that every woman was yeah all for that shit. You know what I'm saying? And that's just me. That's my little special move right there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's just my shit. So learn your shit, cuz. Like, you know what I'm saying? You got to broaden your motherfucking scale. You can't be doing the same. Switch it up. You might want to put the leg up type shit. You, that's what I'm saying. Work out. Eat good. You feel me? Make sure your hygiene good. Play it. Put on a nice fit or something. Some of you niggas don't be getting no shape up. Shit be beaties and stuff. Like, you got to you got your parents. Look. I'm give you five things. Your appearance, man. Your conversation, man. Your goals, man. Motherfucking. Your game. Your game is impactful. What you gonna, and when I say game, what you gonna talk about? What y'all gonna do? You know what I'm saying? How you gonna finesse her like you only want the cheeks when you know you want the cheeks? Game. That's what I'm talking about, bro. Like, game. And then five is just, you know what I'm saying, being a good hearted nigga, like not having no ill intent, not really wanting to see nobody fucked up. Like at the end of the day, let all fun and real good vibes be your whole intention, bruh. Mm-hmm. And you won't care whether you get the cheeks or not. Some of y'all be beefing with these jumps because at the end of the night, you ain't crap. Bruh, relax. It's a million jumps out here. And plus, bruh, if you get your paper up, you can pay somebody to crap. I'll just be, I just be thinking. I just be thinking like that. Like, before it goes to OC, where I'm mad at a female because we ain't have a good time after I thought I gave her a good time. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Fuck that, bro. All right, take that ill on to the next. Y'all got to learn that, bro. Y'all got to learn that. That's a special trick. So, that have you ever you. had that experience, though? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, man. I had this junk dog. I took her. I'm, I ain't going to hold you. Oh, my God. <laughs> This was a thick woman right here, y'all. 
thick woman. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about the thing was off her back, Slim. I'm like, <laughs> I'm geeking. I'm talking about, boy, I pick her up and I pick her up in the bucket and she like, fuck it. She ain't even care. I'm talking about Slim. Give me a little kiss on the lips and all that. I'm like, damn, I'm like, okay, I'm in for the night. Like, what? I go, man, look, take her to Dayton Buses out Silver Spring. We had a good old little time. You know what I'm saying? I get back to the crib, all that. You feel me? I'm thinking shit about to go down. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, shit, I'm all the way up here and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Woo, woo, woo. I'm holding it. Bro, I did not like that kissing shit, but I'm giving her little kisses and shit because I'm trying to crack. You know what I'm saying? But, bro, it just didn't happen. She just like, man, I just want to get to know you some more and woo, woo, all this other shit. And I, it blew me so bad because she, she was older than me. So I'm just like, man, I ain't got no time and shit like that. Be waiting for her to... Wait till she want want me to cry. I'm like, man, you know what I'm saying? And so I was young. I'm just like, fuck it then. I just, you know, but I was sick about that though. But I ain't, I ain't giving no big attitude. What I do or was doing the shit like that, I stopped talking to your ass though. <laughs> Definitely not talking to you no more because I spent too much time and money. So now I'm thinking I'm going to be doing that <laughs> shit every time. And you're going to be like, nah, I ain't trying to crack tonight. And you and your mind. Or when I leave, another nigga come crack you. But I got you good and busted. Like, nah. Uh, just, oh, man. just had to think smarter. Oh, man. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah. That's it. So do you think um, before you want to even be intimate with a lady, you have to, like, do the foreplay? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. For sure. Like... When that shit was happening, you know what I'm saying, back in back in the day before I was shit, I'm damn near motherfucking married now. But yeah, you gotta you can't just just go pop 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 in your ass. Nah, it depends on like the it's uh, some some motherfuckers got a slick game with them. And they just talking and you know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. I didn't been like that. I didn't have shit like that. Well, I ain't had to really do too much. Mm -hmm. I ain't never really had to do too much, but that full play shit is definitely something that you do when you want to do it. Mm -hmm. You do that shit when you want to do it. If you got to do full play before you hit the jump, y'all really don't like each other. Really? That's what I think. That's what I think. Full nah. play is definitely like a, it's like a oop. Don't get me wrong. It's an alley oop, but like certain motherfuckers can just jump in the bed kissing and then get smacked to it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But the but, full, but yeah. you satisfied. Is she satisfied? Yeah, she yeah, might pretend yeah, yeah, to yeah, not yeah. to hurt your feelings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She might. She yeah, might. she might proceed like, oh, she she's might. good. But See, that's what I'm saying. Good. Certain players ain't caring if that girl satisfied. <laughs> <laughs> we don't care. We mm -hmm. get the 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 biggest satisfied of them you. all is when you exactly when you deal with the right women, the, they satisfy off you just being around. Right? That's what you think. Oh, I, that's what I know. But at the end of the day, when you got women that you want to satisfy, mm -hmm. oh yeah, you do. You 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 know what to do. Mm -hmm. You know what to do. But certain women get a certain treatment when you in that lane. You feel me? Like mm -hmm. when you just dealing with her and dealing with her and dealing with her, everybody don't get treated the same. Mm -hmm. And it just don't. So, do you even think about like settling down, like marriage or anything? Oh yeah, that's what I'm on now. Like I'm definitely speaking in past tense. Like mm -hmm. that's what I'm on now. Like. You know what I'm saying? I've been with my girl for like two and a half years. You know what I'm saying? It'll be three years in February. I, I, um, our uh, anniversary is uh, Valentine's Day. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I've been with her. I ain't going to lie. Like, this is one of the most healthiest relationships I've been in because we really take on everything head to head. Like, everything that we go through is literally together. So, you know what I'm saying? I don't have to worry about, well, damn, I ain't going to have nobody to help me do X, Y, and Z, or I ain't gonna have nobody to really show me what, you know what I'm saying, what is that, like, I have a partner, mm -hmm. you see what I'm saying, so yeah, I'm definitely, I'm definitely in, in a, a, a different element with this shit now, like, I used, I had all the game to give to my sons, and you know what I'm saying, my daughters, and shit like that, so, but yeah, I'm definitely on my married man shit, man, and I got, hey, look, I gotta shout out Everybody who trying to do that Because that shit ain't easy You know what I'm saying Like we at that age now Like I said I just hit 34 I'm a 90s baby So get to that age now Some of us seen that shit in our household Some of us didn't So you know I'm just trying to implicate What I seen my parents do You know what I'm saying Take care of what I gotta take care of 
Mm -hmm. And try to make sure they learn from your mistakes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Because uh, my daughter is like, she's definitely, she was a sponge her whole life, like growing up, seeing me grow up. You know what I'm saying? So I talk to her a lot. Mm -hmm. I talk to my daughter a lot, you know, but she's very mature. She's very groomed. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad that she don't have the the kind of the curiosity that I did, mm. you know, because my family kept it away from me mm. as much as they could. Like, but, you know, I mean, we is what we is. Mm. So they couldn't do but so much. You know what I'm saying? So but what it made what, what it made for was an uncomfortable environment at home because mm. I'm high and shit. Mm. I'm, I can't go home and be comfortable because my mother ain't going to fuck with me when I come in there and hide my eyes red. So mm. it, they didn't know it was really putting you at more of a risk mm. to have to hide your life like that. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But I thank them for being so stern, though, because I could have been loose with this shit. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it, I'm glad that they did do the shit that they did. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because it, it made me more... N I, I was sharper in the street. Mm -hmm. I wanted okay. trusted snakes. So how how did you get into rap? Um, I started rapping. Uh, literally, like when I came home at the at the um college and shit. Like I was always like freestyling and doing shit like that amongst the men. Like we play beats and be smoking and shit. I'd be freestyling and shit. Mm -hmm. Um, but when I when I came home uh from school. In 2010, I, I started to record shit, and uh, you know what I'm saying, just 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 off the strength, just to hit my voice on certain songs, and you know I liked it, but I was uncomfortable with the headphones. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I'm used to go go. I was a lead mic in the go go band, Eastern Shore. So it's like I'm coming in this joint from yelling into the mic to having to like talk at a uh, a higher pitch mm. or whatever. It was weird at first. It was really uncomfortable. So, yeah, 2014 is when it started, though. Oh, so can you give us some freestyle? Oh man, shit. Uh, you know, I I, I got something I could tell them. Shit, let me yeah. tell them something. Fuck it. Um, you know, bottom of the bottom. You know where I'm coming from. Most of these niggas. Ain't going where I'm coming from. Cause you can't go on the back streets. No, you won't at me. You know what that fact do. You know we check fact sheets. Ooh. That shit gets you in and out the door. Them niggas know that shit coming in and out your pores. Damn, nigga got spent down the floor. Thrown out the window like 10 fucking floors. Mm. Hey, we pop up with 10 fucking fours. If shit get real, we connect the fucking force. Clean your ass up like a white boy doing the chores. Ooh. Niggas get their head smashed together like some s'mores. Hey, you know we ain't playing with you boys. Like some little girls and some Barbie doll toys. Fuck these little niggas, they ain't really making no noise. It's right rigging this bitch, man. I'm chosen going right. Ooh, <laughs> yeah. man. <laughs> hey, yeah, that's a slight shit, yeah, man. I ain't even one. been in the studio, bro. Mm -hmm. I've been chilling. I'm not going I'm not even gonna say I ain't been in the studio, man. I've been recording with my man neighborhood Q, man. That's my cuz, that's my bro, that's my crow. You feel me? That's my crowbar, but that's the nigga that's keeping this shit going musically because I'll be ready to say fuck this shit and get back into the street, just straight, straight trap. Like, bro, tell me, look, bro, fuck that shit right now. Get in here and record. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I really appreciate, bro. I love the shit out of my Cody. But yeah, man, um, I got a lot of different new shit about to jump off. Mm -hmm. Like, it's just a matter of time. It's just this, this interview right here, bro, this shit like perfect timing because... Mm -hmm. Everything is about to transpire. Mm -hmm. So it's like we giving them a forefront of just half of this shit for real. This shit coming mm -hmm. heavy. Like, mm -hmm. I'm telling you. Where like, can they find you, though? Oh, I'm on Apple Music. Mm -hmm. Um, Shit, I'm on YouTube. My videos on YouTube. Check my videos out, man. Running views up. Um, Rari Rick. That's a, like a Ferrari. Just no F-E. Just R-A-R-R-I-R-I-C. Mm -hmm. I'm saying Rari Rick. I mean, like I said, Apple Music, Tidal, uh, what's the other drink that they got? All them little major platforms and shit. My shit on everything. What is it? Tune Spotify. Call, Spotify. I'm on everything. You can look me up on your Xbox, you know, your PlayStation. Like, just type in Rory Rick. Any music, anything you could think of, bro. 
just type my name, man. bro. Right, right. Check him out, man. So yes. where do you where do you see your music career moving forward? Um, honestly, like when I get the right ears on my shit, the right team behind me, I see it doing uh doing really well. Like, you know what I'm saying? It makes me feel better than, you know what I'm saying, what I see, like the result that I see. So it's like I'm not automatically saying, yeah, I'm a, I'm making 10K, I'm a rapper, da, da, da. I just know I'm very talented. There's a lot of artists that's out here that's talented too, but, bro, I know the fuck I do, know what I'm capable of. And so, like I said, with the right method, the right planning, the right promotion, I'm a one-man army right now. The right door open for me and the right ear hit this shit, it's a wrap. I'm telling you, I already know, like, my 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 vision right now was to hit these radio stations out there. You know what I'm saying? Once I um I plan unfold shit that we got going on with uh push play association, wanna shout out my man Draco. Uh we got a lot of work that we got to do. Like we record a lot of good music. Uh we got a, a lot of shit coming. So I just yeah. I just know, yeah, y'all gonna hear and we ruffling some feathers this motherfucking fall, winter time. We gonna have some p- attention on us, cause you know what I'm saying. We really doing this shit like talented this shit. That's this is my whole clan. That's what we on. Yeah, man. I want I want to see you move from different levels, man. From definitely. this level to another level. You too, bro. You yeah, too. Man. I want to definitely see that for you too, bro. This is a beautiful feeling. Just mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying. Be here, spit my shit. I ain't gonna hold you. Talk my shit. Yeah, yeah. man. So, is there anything you want to tell the audience about the music stuff that we didn't know? Um. I uh I also want to shout out Izzy, uh that's that's my uh, engineer. I'm so eccentric. I gotta get his name right on the ground, but that's a hell of an engineer. Um, with his music shit, bro. I, I I tell you like, wherever you can get a beat from, get it. If you like it, rip it. I don't give a fuck if it's YouTube. I don't give a fuck what it is because I don't be caring where y'all get y'all beats from. Who wanna send me beats? Uh, you can send me beats to Rari. 2722 at yahoo.com um like check my music style out just search me up on youtube uh rory rick and yeah send me some beats that's for any engineers producers you could definitely tap in with me send me beats man peep my my style i want everything i do a little bit of everything so yeah yeah that's really good so how did how did you get into fashion trying to design um and stuff? well i'm gonna be honest like I always been a dressing type of person. Like, always know how to put certain outfits and colors and shit together since a youngin. Like, I always been like that. I get that shit from my mother. Like, my mother is very fashionable. Like, just the clothes that she wears, she you rarely see her wear shit twice. And I ain't, wouldn't understand it, but like, she just put shit together. That's just what type of woman she was. So, I gained that shit from her. Like, I just, I wanted my shit to be fresh. And that's how I was. Like, I started making jeans and shit. Growing up in like middle school and shit, we like cutting inside our jeans and shit, uh, cutting little patches and holes and shit in them, you know what I'm saying? Shit like that. So I started like that. And then over time, it was like me, like I'm drawing on shoes and like I, I customize shoes now. Um, I do everything. I paint, you know what I'm saying? My man, shout out my man, Sly Artist. You can follow him on the gram too, Sly underscore artist. Uh, we doing like portraits and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? My man make rugs. Um, but yeah, just getting into it, it was more, it was more like it was in me and not on me. You feel mm-hmm. me? It's like I can literally, I see myself um, when I, you know, we was fucked up. We trying to get our money up. You know what I'm saying? You got motion, but you fucked up, like my man D-Lo say. Mm-hmm. Um, we was making $100 look like a $500 outfit. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And based off just just swag, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't going to hold you. Like, I go, I used to go up in the Marshalls, Ross, T- uh, uh, TJ Maxx, all that shit. And shit that y'all see, Polo Coast, Nike shit like that. I switched the tag on that shit. You feel me? I ain't paying the people's $80, $90. Or nah, I'm getting $25. So it'll fuck the block up because when you see you come outside, like, oh, damn, where you get this shit from? Damn, this shit looking... Ross, motherfucker, I got this shit from TJ Maxx or something like, you know what I'm saying? But that ability in its own self was a talent, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, that's, that's what, good. yeah, that's what made me really know. That's another reason why I know that this fashion shit is something that I'm, you know what I'm saying, I'm mm-hmm. into because I wanted to create something that's stylish and affordable. 
Yeah, I got two questions for you. Mm-hmm. The first one is, if there was one experience that you could take away or just mine or subtract from all the experiences you've been in your life, what would it be? Um, One experience that I could take away? Damn. You know what? I swear, bro, it's, it's really nothing more more uh, uh, important that I would like to take away of it than my a lot of my friends being addicted to certain drugs and shit like that. Like, were you ever addicted? Huh? Were you ever addicted to any drugs? Nah, not. I mean, I'm shit. Hey, look, I love some motherfucking weed, but I never had a problem with like pills or shit like that. Like, nah. Mm-hmm. But I lost friends to that shit, man. And it's just a fucking weird way to go out. It just, I hate to see a real stand up nigga go out. Like that, mm. you feel me? And that shit, that's just one thing I wish I could take away. Like, far as certain niggas getting their hands that I loved getting their hands on certain drugs and, and you know, saying losing they, they either they mental or losing their whole life. Mm. So, if there was one advice you could give to your younger self, what would it be? Damn, um, mm. to my younger self, I would just be, I would just tell myself this stay away from niggas. Mm. Stay away from niggas. Do you? Don't oh. even. Don't even. Don't sell shit. I done told my younger self, don't sell shit. Work, <clears throat> stack your money up, find another way. Like I would have just gave myself more to do than to tell me what I was wrong for doing. Mm. That's when, and that's what I like. I said I love my parents to death, but that's what a lot of a lot of shit that my parents did. More so, tell me what I was wrong for, but not give me nothing to do. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, you wrong for this and that, and don't do this, this and that. Just, but all right, what do I do then? Mm. You know what I'm saying? That's like, a good point. Yeah, like they don't they don't give you a format of you know what I'm saying. And, and you could just my father used to say this shit all the time. You get a job at McDonald's. Who the fuck going at? I ain't doing that shit. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I ain't working at McDonald's, dog. I worked at Five Guys for fucking five minutes. Mm. And I was like, nah, bro, this shit ain't for me. <laughs> I seen a broad I used to talk to literally walk in there with a dude, and I took their order. Mm. And I'm just like, nah, bro, this shit ain't me, dog. I'm real live serving burgers to a woman. I used to serve her a burger. <laughs> the fuck, you know what I'm saying? Like, who the fuck this shit look like? I'm going backwards in life. Like, <laughs> fuck no, dog. It, I mean, like I said, I, I I I learned from them how not to be prideful. You know what I'm saying? So certain ills I did take and brushed off my shoulder and just, you know what I'm saying? All right, next day, next time, it'll be different. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But, it, it and like I said, I just took certain shit from what they were saying, but... They made it feel like they ain't had nothing for me to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, you told me, don't hoop. You know what I'm saying? You're too short for that. Go to school. That shit ain't work. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I didn't want to. I, I wasn't blaming it on them, but it was like, I didn't see it. You know, kids now and children in general have to see the effects. Like, I ain't see my mother or father go to college. Mm-hmm. I see my sister go to college. You know what I'm saying? But mm-hmm. I ain't see my father go to college. I ain't even know why he wanted me to go. Because, mm-hmm. I, you know, we at that at young age, we impressionable. We look at careers and shit like that. We like, what do he do? Mm-hmm. I just seen my father go to work and go home, go to work and go home. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it, it, it's it's just like the streets was just a, a motherfucking magnet. Mm. To a, a, a idle mind mm. like that, you know what I'm saying? Just like I'm going outside to play football, or basketball. We fuck around. This shit to turn into a, a big ass brawl. Everybody outside recording, man, folks fighting and shit going on. And, mm. You know what I'm saying? It, it that's just what it was. Just like regular adaptation. Mm. You just adapted to the shit. Yeah. So, is there anything you want to say before we end the episode today? Um, man, I thank y'all for tuning in to me and my boy for real, man. I'm gonna be back and next time. I'm coming back. Shit just gonna you just gonna see more elevation, elevation in the game, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm coming hard, we're gonna finish twenty twenty four off strong as shit. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Follow me on um Instagram at one Rari Rick. That's one Rari that Rick. Or it might be an underscore, but you only see it's only one Rari Rick, literally. Mm-hmm. And um Y B O M D that room. That's Y B O M D that room. Young boss obtain the money daily. Your bitch on my dick. It got double acronyms in this shit. You know what I'm saying? 
Yeah, y'all know how I'm coming, coming crazy though. But we're gonna do a lot of different shit, and I want y'all stay tuned to my music, man. Like, really check that shit out. Like, it's a lot of ass rappers out here that's getting a lot of recognition, and I ain't trying to curry nobody. But this shit is ass, and y'all need to pay attention to some real bars. Like, I'm really talking that shit, and this shit facts and that cap, and yeah, nice beats. Got some great engineers on my projects. Check out some of my videos. Like, all my videos vivid. You know what I'm saying? Most of them directed by me. So, yeah, check me out, man. Yeah, man. Thank you for coming to the show today. Appreciate that. And problem. hey, guys, you have it. Today's episode was a great one. And I just want to let you guys know, remember something. The road to life is always under construction. Not everybody had the same challenges. We all have different stuff going on in our lives. So if you hear somebody's story, do not judge. Because you never know what that person really had to experience. The emotions, the emotional trauma, and everything attached to that circumstances or situation. So never judge until you are involved. Because you never know what people go through. So be yourself and love yourself. And if you're new to a channel, like I said earlier, just like the video and subscribe to a channel. And for all our audience, we will love you and we appreciate you for everything you do. And if you want to come to the show to tell your story, reach out to me, Ben Rollins, on any social media platform and just send me a message and we're going to see what we can do to tell your story. So thank you for everything you do and see you in the next episode. Ben Rollins' blueprint comes to an end. See you in the next episode. Bye-bye.